19th century music publisher described a cat piano of sorts played by a bear. One of the reasons Kircher probably did not invent the cat piano is because there is a 16th century report of the instrument being played in a royal procession in Brussels, Belgium. Jean Baptiste Weberlein, a French writer in the 1800s, wrote about the procession three centuries after the fact. The most curious was on a chariot that carried the most singular music that can be imagined. Held a bear that played the organ instead of pipes, there were 16 cat heads each with its body confined, the tails were sticking out, and were held to be played as the strings on a piano. The corresponding tail would be pulled hard, and it would produce each time a lamentable meow. The procession, which was for King Philip Roman II, was witnessed by historian Juan Calvi de Estrella. So, a bear riding a chariot playing a piano made out of cats, just your average 16th century royal march. At least these cats didn't have their tails stuck with spikes. The man attributed with inventing the cat piano, but probably didn't, was friends with someone who wanted to make a donkey choir. The man attributed with inventing the cat piano, but probably didn't, was friends with someone who wanted to make a donkey choir. There was no cat organ, but there may have been a cat choir conducted by monkeys. The cats and clavier re-emerges numerous times over the course of a few centuries, but one notable instance is a 17th century fairground attraction involving the instrument. According to Sarah Hartwell, Jack Christophe Valmont de Bomer 1731-1807 described a Maya League booth at the fair of St. Germain. Inside the booth, some cats sat on a table before a piece of music, and at a signal given by a monkey, they played feline melodies and harmonies. In fact, there were a number of operas and performances around Europe that involved trained feline performers conducted by monkeys. Considering it was an era during which people were constantly being entertained by animals, animal baiting was a popular sport and pastime. It is unsurprising that something as ridiculous as a monkey orchestrating trained cats was within the realm of possibilities. The cats and clavier was thought to cure crazy people in the 19th century. 19th century German doctor Johann Christian Ryle believed the cat piano had the potential for enormous health benefits. A doctor for those who can best be described as permanently in a state of daydreaming, echo a few state. Ryle believed the insanity of the instrument and the startling noise that it would likely produce was the only thing that could properly snap them out of their state of constant reverie. The idea wasn't even practical, as cats definitely won't meow on pitch while being tortured. The idea wasn't even practical, as cats definitely won't meow on pitch while being tortured. Although the cat organ never took off, the pig organ did. Although the cat organ never took off, the pig organ did. The instrument was brutal and involved torturing the cats. In an article on the cats and clavier for mental floss, Lucas Riley delves deeper into the horrid theoretical instrument, making explicit just how horrible it would have been for the cats enlisted into its service. Imagine a row of eight cats tightly packed in individual cages, wedged along a keyboard. Their tails are pinned down and pulled taut. With the touch of a key, a mechanism slams a nail down into the cat's tail. So when a keyboard is plays a tune, the cats which are arranged according to the pitches of their meows yell together in pain, crying out in musical harmony. 
that's clear-cut animal abuse by today's standards. The idea came about as a way to entertain a stressed-out prince. Although the origins of the cats and clavier are not exactly known, it is assumed that it came about as a way to entertain a bored monarch. In 1650, a scholar named Athanasius Kircher wrote, in order to raise the spirits of an Italian prince burdened by the cares of his position, a musician created for him a cat piano. The result of the arrangement of cats was a melody of meows that became more vigorous as the cats became more desperate. Who could not help but laugh at such music? Thus was the prince raised from his melancholy. Right, because who can't help but laugh at animals screaming in pain? It seems Kircher and the Italian prince had a twisted sense of humor. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below. And also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.